Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I am going to be testing out this three row comb that everybody it seems to be talking about on YouTube right now. Just playing. Not everybody. It's like three people. <laughs> but that's like everybody. Shit. I'm just playing. So um get back on track Kim. Get back on track. So basically um three there's three ladies who've already reviewed this comb. What is it? Z Marie Beauty. Um Hazel Goddess and finally Amber. So I'm gonna link all of their videos below. Okay, so make sure you check their videos out as well. But I also got a um, request to do it, of course. And so I don't forgot who requested it, but here you go, girl. Here you go. So I'm basically already done my wash and go. I know y'all like, which how you gonna show us how you gonna use the comb? And you already did your wash and go. I'm gonna tell you why, cause I already know how I feel about the comb. So I kind of want to just show you guys and tell you guys how I feel about the comb. Because of what I'm not going to do is do this on my whole head. No ma'am. No ma'am. Not no three rat tail comb. No ma'am. <laughs> no ma'am. Um, so I do have a little section. Okay. So it's super moisturized though. So like this comb has an advantage. Like a real advantage. So I want to let you guys know. I'm going to add some water though. And you guys always ask me where I get this water bottle. And it's from Sally's girl. It's from Sally's. All right, so first we're gonna talk about this because finally Amber talked about this comb as um, a detangler, and um, I would have to say it's actually a really good detangler. Um, it definitely it comb it it gets through my hair super easy, but then again my hair is detangled and moisturized and all that. So I mean I don't know I'm gonna have to use it. I don't know my hair ain't never like super duper bad, but I mean it seems like it's really good at detangling like I'm not getting any, any tangles as I'm combing so I would say it's a pretty good detangler but that's not what you came here for if you're looking to buy this comb I'm sure you're looking at this comb for styling purposes not necessarily to, to detangle your hair because a lot of us like brushes basically so I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of my product and then as soon as I finish adding the product I'm gonna come back and then we're gonna test the comb out okay 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 guys, so I have all of the products on this particular um, section, which is my last section. Thank God. God is good. <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Girl. So I'm gonna split this in half. And let's see if I can zoom in so you guys can actually see. So it's this section right here. So like I said, it already has all the products on it. Let's show you guys. So it definitely separates your hair like a comb. Um. 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 So. I mean. No. This <laughs> this comb treats my it like. It does the same thing, I don't know. There, it's too much frizz. The raking method works so well because there's not a lot of air circulating between your hands. There's a lot of heat. As you're pulling, there's a lot of friction. There's a lot of heat. So while you're doing that, you're eliminating a lot of frizz. When you're using combs like this, everything is pretty like open and there's a lot of like air so not like air air but like I don't know how to explain it but it creates frizz basically my homie it creates frizz it, 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 my hair gets frizzy with using this comb I don't see this comb as a, a styler that I could use particularly for my hair I have really puffy roots and I I think if you have really puffy roots this um won't work for you but if your roots aren't as puffy or if you don't necessarily care about having sleek roots then that product will work for you if you care more um if you basically like to shingle all the time and you like to look at that but you don't necessarily care about puffy roots then i think that that comb would be good but for me i just feel like my hair is just extra frizzy 
and it looks better when I just use my fingers and I do the raking method and just rake it through like that. So, yeah guys, I don't, I hate to be the downer for this particular product, but, um, I would have to say this is a no for me. This isn't something I'm going to be using to style my hair with, but I do see it as a good detangler, I guess. Yeah, like these, these three rows definitely helps with detangling. Like, I don't feel like detangling was hard at all, but as far as like styling, I may treat this like a dimming brush where um i just use it on the ends um but i would i not really i'm sorry it, it's like i may do a comparison to show you guys the differences between the dimmer brush if you guys want a video like that but i would have to say this is no for me just because it creates a lot of frizz even like you know when we first started using the dimmer brush everybody really kind of liked it but then you realize that it was carrying the products from your roots down and like your hair was getting a lot frizzy like that this comb kind of reminds me of that it's not pulling the products down my hair like it's, you don't see a bunch of white on the ends after using the comb but it, it still creates that same frizz so i'm sorry guys this is just something i won't be using but um it's only like literally two dollars at sally so if you want to try it um let me know if you have tried it let me know in the um comment sections below how you liked it if you liked it if you're gonna try it if you ain't gonna try it let me know like I said I have all three ladies who already did a video on this comb link below so if you want to see their videos their, their hair types and all that and just to give you guys a reference I have thick 3c 4a hair and low porosity okay so yeah guys I hope you like this video if you did give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one bye